and then her and Fenny. This is gonna show a different angle. There we go. Brushing their teeth, their fuddy teeth. Mrs. Lord alone at home sleeping. Now Raul is dreaming. Hopefully not of the Nikocado variety. I only want one bite. I don't per I don't personally I don't personally choose to hate him. By the way, Nikocado avocado. I just you know like everybody else. I just like you know like I would feel for everybody else. That is, I would just want him to be able to be happy and healthy in obviously healthy ways, of course. Yeah, my heart would be willing to go out, go out to pretty much everybody in that regard that I would wish them the best for their health, health and happiness. But to to exert such things and be able to experience it in the most healthy of ways, of course. In spite of the fact that Raul, the character here, would probably have to be really... Um, not quite the healthiest in the mind if he actually if he actually did this in real life. Good thing it's only pertaining to a dream, most likely, wink wink. Or hopefully. <laughs> I wonder when the next baby will be born. And I didn't even check that he would be dreaming. <laughs> and he's in a snail race, an escargot race, racing to, racing to see which snail will be e eaten first. Or whoever loses the snail, the snail race ends up being escargot. Oh, so it was Julio all along, all by himself. So does that imply he was longing for his wife? <laughs> we have something to tell you, David Lidlock. Well then that would be kind of romantic of him. A bit too much. The two of us are getting married. And speaking of marriage what are you doing? of Have quote unquote perfect marriages. Gingerbread cake. No. <laughs> you didn't say no long enough. You said it with three O's. But it sounds like you would have said it with only one O. One O and one H. Essentially. Oh yeah, I forgot they had a kid. And what the heck would be happening here in a Tomodachi... Tomodachi quest, uh... Which I'm reluctant to play. At least right now. I'm in the mood to figure out more problems first. Now Kyoto has a problem. Okay, good. It's not hunger. It's plop, plop, plop. Apparently. Speaking of which, she wants to wear something weird on her head. Uh, not many characters like the glam rock lid. But she does, thank gosh. I don't know if remember if I've had any characters who actually did like it. Here, I want you to have this. It's almost a flu that pushed out a guy became close. A good flu. Mm-hmm. Got a puzzle piece. Trying to figure out the puzzle and mystery that is life. And how does Lizzy feel about Frankie? And I already, I probably have already wasted all of the hey, travel tickets. Seen you for two weeks. Dang. I probably wasted all the travel tickets. Oh, well, I do have one left, but still. It's hard to forgive your own mistakes. It's best not to make them, I feel. <laughs> Don't stare. It makes me nervous. Don't 
that's totally a great thing to do when unmasked. 